Hey guys, S2W here with your W Overview, your weekly update to the top headline sneaker releases for the next 7 days. As we approach the third week of September 2019, a few notable sneakers are dropping. Like always, a cop drop poll will be available at the top right corner of this video, so feel free to click on the window as it pops out to vote. Let's take a look at what's dropping between September 15th to the 21st of 2019. On the 18th, it seems like Yeezy Supply is dropping 3 new colorways of the Adidas Yeezy Power Phase for $120 US at retail. Like previous colorways, they are sticking with earth tones again, featuring shades of grey and also different hues of brown. But unlike previous releases, these 3 new colorways will feature a suede upper instead. The 3 stripes branding on the side of the shoe is outlined with perforated details, with the same old flashy gold calabasas branding on the lateral face. This low top sneaker is great as a lifestyle shoe, with retro vibes that hit the spot for ongoing fashion trends today. If you like the look of the Adidas Superstars or Stan Smith, but for Yeezys, then these are it. On the 20th, one of the longest running partnership, Nike and retailer Undefeated are dropping the Air Max 90 next for $150 US at retail. For this project, they are releasing a total of 8 different colorways, separated into 4 with a black base upper while the other 4 with white. What differentiates them will be the color of the trim, each with a distinct bold colored highlight. I was only able to find 4 colorways but as you can see, each either boasts a bright infrared tone or a bright blue trim. Undefeated logos will be seen at the heel while the Nike Air Max logo is on the tongue. The rest of the design sticks true to its iconic design with an air bubble cushion and waffled rubber outsole to finish off the bottom. On the 21st, Adidas and Yeezy are dropping their next colorway for the Yeezy Boost 350B2 Cloud White for $220 US at retail. Now normally, I would say the colorways are repetitive at this point, but they are using blue knitting this time. With so many 350B2s out, only one had blue hints, and now this time a second one is finally coming out with a cleaner look too in my opinion. Using the newer design with the see-through mesh lateral stripe, the patterns on the prime knit upper is accentuated with blue weaving now. This pair does not come with a heel tab it seems, but the other stuff is basically the same, including comfy full length boost cushioning. It appears a limited version of this colorway with 3M reflective materials are launching on the 19th too, but keep in mind, the 3M weaving will most likely make the shoe a lot grayer color in hand. If you want the exclusiveness, the 3M model is the way to go, but if you like the blue hints, I would suggest going with the regular public release. Lastly on the same day the 21st, the Jordan brand is releasing a new colorway of the Air Jordan 12 called Game Royal for $190 US at retail. It uses the same iconic Flu Game 12's color blocking that includes a black tumbled leather upper, but now instead of red, this one will feature blue on a mudguard, midsole, and also as well. All the brandings around the shoe will also feature the color blue now, finished with the same rubber outsole for that OG look. The mudguard is suede textured too it seems, so keep in mind for that extra styling. If you're a fan of the flu games, then these could potentially make its way to become one of the more popular colorways for the Jordan 12s. Anyways, that concludes this week of W Overview. Make sure to click on a prompt on the top right corner of this video to vote Copper Drop on each shoe. Also, which headline sneaker is your favorite this coming week? Let me know down below in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next W Overview.